The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session with Sunday Desmond. The lesson, we shall commence the lesson of today with the correction of the assignment that we had in the last lesson. And the assignment where or are, we start with number one, which is we're supposed to list the major plates, list the major plates, name the difference between a minor and a major plate. That's the difference between a minor and a major plate. Outline and describe the types of forces responsible for plate movement. So we start with the very first, which is for you to list the major plate. So remember, we have seven in number. Before uh, listing, we know that major plates are the plates that are more than 20 million kilometers square in surface area and they constitute the bulk of the planet. And we have seven of them, which are the African plate, the Eurasian plate, the North American plate, South American plate, the Pacific plate, and the Indo Australian plate. So those are the major plates. And now, the second assignment, they still on that question, which has to do with the minor plates. The minor plates are those that are less than 20 million kilometer square in surface area, but are more than 1 million kilometer square in surface area. So, example of the plates, we have the Nazca plate, we have Scotia plate, the Cocos plate, the Caribbean, Philippine, Arabian, Juan de Fuca, etc. So, for the differences, or the difference between a minor and a major plate, the difference between a minor and a major plate, we look at it based on their surface area. And if we have to go by that, you will see that a major plate is always more than 20 million kilometers square in surface area. A major plate is always more than 20 million kilometers square in surface area. We have seven of them. And a minor plate is less than 20 million kilometers square in surface area, but more than 1 million kilometers square in surface area, and we have 12 of those minor plates. That is the difference between a major and a minor plate. Then the forces that are responsible for plate motion, plate movement. We have the mantle drag force, which is that illustrated on the diagram. The mantle drag force is the force that is generated by the movement of the mantle convection current that occurs at the asthenosphere. You have a hot and less dense magma, a hotter and less dense magma at the bottom rises to the surface and a cooler and denser magma sinks to the bottom. And as that is occurring, type of current called mantle convection current is generated which leads in effect creates the oh, 
forms the mantle drag force that causes the oceanic floor to move. We have a rich push force, which is a force that is exerted at the level of the mid oceanic ridge, as you see it on the diagram. At the level of the mid oceanic ridge, you have magma that is upwelling from the mantle. And as it is forcefully emplacing itself in that mid oceanic ridge, consolidating to give rise to what? Rocks of the ocean floor. You find that that oceanic, the already formed rocks on the ocean floor, they are pushed towards the trenches or continental margin. And when that occurs, you call that a rich push force. Then you have the slab pull force, which is the force that is exerted at the slab of the ocean floor that helps to drag the oceanic cross or lithosphere down into the subduction zone. So those are the forces responsible for plate motion. You also have other types of forces. Now, uh, the topic of the day is plate tectonic, and our lesson will be the brief outline of the uh, the, type, the earth plate margin characteristic features and processes. So, brief outline of types of earth, the earth plate margin characteristic features and processes. Now, the plan or overview of this lesson is we have lesson objectives prerequisites, real-life situation, hypothesis, lesson activities, recall, exercises, and assignment. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to give us or state the different types of plates, name the different plate margins, talk about the movement of the present-day plates, different direction that the present day plates are having, features at the different plate margins, processes that are occurring at the different plate margins, the processes and the activities. At the end of the lesson, you should know, be able to explain all of that. So, for the knowledge required to understand this lesson best, we have definition of plates, concept of plate tectonics, sea floor spreading, concept of continental drift, major and minor plates. The real life situation. For five geology students, watch the events of the catastrophic 2011 Fukushima earthquake in Japan and was so worried and wanted to find out why it occurred and if such geologic hazard hit Cameroon. The scientific problem, what geologic concept can be used to explain why, how, and the effect of such phenomenon to the student? What geologic concept can be used to explain why, how, and the effect of such phenomenon to the students? The proposed hypothesis that we have, concept of continental drift, is it the concept of continental drift that can be used to explain the origin of such a natural hazard? Is it the sea floor spreading or is it plate and plate tectonics? So at the end of the lesson, you, will, you should be able to tell us that it is this concept, maybe plate tectonics, continental drift, or sea floor spreading. Now, we have a picture on our screen, observe the photograph. It is actually showing uh, a portion of the African plate, most the East African plate, and uh, try to deduce what you see or what must have happened for the plate to be what it is. So take note, look at the arrows, which is in red. Look at the direction that they are pointing to, towards. All those arrows are indicating direction of movement of those plates. So you have it here, it indicates that this portion of the African plate is moving to this direction, why to the east, why this other portion is moving to the west. And 
because of that, you are now having satellite view of the what we have on the effect of what has occurred after those movements. So try to see what is happening there and deduce what it is talking about. Remember, there are arrows that are indicating direction of movement of the plates of that is part of the African plate. And here, like I said, that's an, a satellite view of the effect of the movement that we have on that plate. So from there, we now move on to the lesson of today, which talks about the types of plate margins, types of plate margins, or types of plate boundary. Now, what are the different types of plate margin or boundary? We have the very first, which is destructive margin or convergent margin. Destructive or convergent margin. Now, what is a destructive or a convergent margin, plate margin? In a destructive or a convergent plane margin, you have two plates that move towards each other the, 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 uh, sorry, the two plates, they move towards each other, collide, and one is buried beneath the other. You have two plates that move towards each other, collide, and one is buried beneath the other. And in such plate margins or boundary, you have the following features that are common. We have the volcanic island arc, we have mountain range we have earthquakes activities earthquakes that occur folding and faulting and even regional metamorphism so those are some of the features that you find in a margin where plates move towards each other collide one is buried beneath the other forming a subduction zone while the other rests above it so in that region where there is pollution and subduction, the all we call that a subduction zone. So, remember, we have talked about two plates coming beside each other colliding to give you a margin. Now, since we have different types of plates that are moving towards each other, we are going to have the following types of collisions. Now, you have the very first that we'll start with is the ocean-continent collision. Ocean-continent collision. Collision means coming together and hitting each other. One is buried beneath and one lies above. So, when an oceanic plate and a continental plate are moving towards each other, they hit each other and one is buried beneath the other, we call that ocean continent collision. And now, a good example of where you can find, you can see, or where that is happening is the Andes. There you have the South American plate. The South American plate, this is the South American continent that you find, and you have a plate beneath the Indian Ocean, which is called the Nazca Plate. The Nazca Plate is found there, and they, this is the South American Plate. So, the Oceanic Plate, which is called uh, Nazca, collides with the Continental Plate. This is it, which is the South American Plate. And this gives rise to this boundary that you have here, what you call, this is a subduction zone. And take note, in such boundaries, in such boundaries, the subduction of a plate depends on the density of that plate. That is to say, the plate that is denser than the other is subducted or is sent beneath that which is less dense. So in this case, since the oceanic plate is denser because of the rock types that is made of, it is subducted beneath the continental plate, which is less dense. That is the South American plate. And now, when that happens, a subduction zone is formed. And the different features 
that you have in that kind of a plate margin, if the very first will have volcanic arc, that is it on your screen, you have it there, volcanic arc, and you, you will think of it when you have, when you look at the Andes Four Mountain Range that runs from the north portion of the South American continent right down to the southern hemisphere of that part of that same continent. You find that all along we have volcanoes. There are a chain of volcanoes on that four mountain chain uh, and which some are very active. All of that constitute the volcanic arc. And remember, there, there are particular types of rocks that are formed. Igneous rock, mostly volcanic. At the level of the surface, you have volcanic rocks that are having an intermediate composition. And at the level of the plutonic environment, you have plutonic rocks that are having an intermediate composition. Example, diorite. And at the volcanic environment, you have example and the site. Then, another feature that you find there is also a trench. A trench. A tre trench are deep, narrow troughs that are found where at plate margins. They constitute the deepest sites on Earth. Now, so you have oceanic trench that is it there, indicated by the arrow, a trench. You also have an ocean basin that is created. You have a creational wedge. That is, the sediments that are scraped off from the oceanic crust as it is being buried beneath the continental crust. All those sediments, when they accumulate at the margin, they give, they give, they give rise to what we call a, a melange or an accretional wedge. Then, you also have a subduction zone. A subduction zone, the zone where you have a plate buried beneath a northern. That is it. So you have uh, the processes of magmatism there because there is a formation of magma and mostly magma of intermediate composition. You have regional metamorphism that also occurs at such a plate margin. There is regional metamorphism. There is also the three types of earthquakes that are present. Remember, you will only have the three types of earthquake in convergent plate margins. And the three types of the quakes will be, you have the deep focus, you have the intermediate focus, and the shallow focus. reason why you see that those countries along that four mountain range, like Peru, Chile, Argentina, and all of them, they are usually having some uh, events of earthquake, very earthquakes of high magnitude, very strong quakes. So it is as a result of what? The movement along that plate margin. Okay, so those are the processes that you find there. Now, you also have ocean-ocean collision, which is another example of the type of collision you have in a convergent plate margin. Ocean-ocean collision. Here, you have two oceanic plates that are moving towards each other. They collide, and one is buried beneath the other. In this case, one is subducted beneath the other. In this case, the subduction would depend on the velocity of the plate. That is to say, the plate that is approaching the other with a higher velocity is subducted, while that is approaching with a lower velocity uh, is uh, lies above the subducted plate. So, example, you find that in the West Aleutians, and there is a diagram of it. You are in such plate margin, you have an oceanic trench that is also formed. You have island arc, you have the formation of islands. You also have the, of course, earthquakes that are generated. And uh, to be more specific, the three types of Earthquakes like shallow focus, deep focus, and intermediate. So there you also have metamorphism, mostly hydrothermal type of metamorphism. Now, for the third type of collision that you have 
are in you see in a convergent plate boundary imagine is a continent continent collision continent continent collision where you have two continental plates moving towards each other colliding and giving rise to a subduction zone now a good example is the himalayas find that in the himalayas that four mountain range the himalayas of course contains the highest peak on earth which is everest mount everest so that himalayas was formed as a result of what the indian plate colliding with the eurasian plate the indian plate colliding with the eurasian plate and in this case in this kind of plate margin collision there or subduction depends on velocity since the two continents are having the same density so none is denser than the other so there the plate that is coming with the highest velocity will be subducted beneath that which is having uh, which is approaching with the lower velocity so you have the picture on your screen this is where you find this himalaya four mountain range on, on in your globe so there what happened you have the indian plate this is an illustration of the indian plate coming approaching the eurasian plate that collided and gave rise to this zone this four mountain range and then what are some of the features or processes that you have there you have regional metamorphism that is metamorphic activities regional metam metamorphic rocks you have the three types of quakes as well like shallow focus deep and intermediate focus earthquakes reason why you find that countries that are found around these four mountain ranges like china like nepal they are always or they have witnessed several events of earthquakes very strong quakes quakes with magnitude of more than six point so for example the recent quake that struck uh, nepal it was a strong quake and all of that was as a result of what the movement along this plate margin where you have the himalayas okay so there you also have a four mountain range which is formed for example the himalaya four mountain range you have suture zone which is made up of materials from the ocean floor sediments from the ocean floor that has been plastered against the wall of the continent now why is that uh, so because remember for the two plates to come together there they are first of all separated by uh, an ocean so they are separated by an ocean and now that ocean disappears as the continent they collide giving rise to that so we've talked about a suture zone we've talked about four mountain range like the himalaya in this case We've talked about the three types of quakes. We've talked about uh, regional metamorphism, and there are also igneous activities. Like you have mostly igneous pr production of a, uh, felsic magma and felsic igneous rocks as well. Then you also have earthquakes, the three types. Now, to do a recall of what we've had, we say a plate margin. Is a boundary where plate movement occurs. A boundary where plate movement occurs. And uh, different type of plate margins we have convergent or destructive. And in a convergent or destructive, we have three types of collision. The very first ocean ocean collision example. You have the Western Aleutians, you have ocean continent collision. For example, the Andes, we have continent continent collision example the himalayas as you have it there so the ocean continent is formed between nazca and south america ocean ocean is in the pacific you have the continent continent that is indian plate colliding with the eurasian plate and we've also talked about the different processes occurring at these different plate margins some of which are earthquakes the three types of earthquakes metamorphism formation of four mountain ranges etc so that takes us now to the exercise exercises of the day we start with the very first 
you have a diagram on your screen. Look at, try, observe, and try to see what the diagram is talking about. You find that it's, it's actually a diagram that is talking about a plain margin. It's illustrating a plain margin. Here yeah, I have continental cross, I have oceanic cross. Also take note of the movement, the direction of movement indicated by the arrows. So the equation is, such a plate boundary above is characterized by such a plate boundary above is characterized by is it sea floor spreading, full mountain range, weathering, or all the three types of earthquakes? The correct answer there is you have all the three types of earthquakes. Question two again. It is also a uh, plate margin. Take note of the direction of the arrows. You have this is an oceanic plate and another oceanic plate they have they have collided one is subducted beneath so you have these features that are formed so that is a diagram that is showing a plate margin the equation is the diagram above illustrates subduction zone the diagram above illustrates subduction zone during subduction plates what happens with plates during subduction is it that they move towards each other, sink beneath each other, separate from each other, or bypass each other. So the correct answer is that the one of the plate sink beneath the other. That is what happens during subduction. And depending on the type of plate, if there are two oceanic plates, like the case that you have on your screen, the subduction or the sinking of the one of the plate will be dependent on what? The velocity of the plate. The velocity since they are having the same density but if it is the case of two con uh, an oceanic and a continental plate that is coming beside each other the sinking or the subduction will be dependent on what the density of the plate question the next question what are the types of collision in a destructive plate margin the types of collision in a destructive plate margin, we have ocean ocean collision. That is when two oceanic plates are coming between, beside, they are coming towards each other, colliding. One is subducted. Example, we have we talked about the Western Aleutians. You have ocean continent collision. That is when you have an oceanic plate moving and colliding with a continental plate. An example we have given the Andes, where you have Nazca and South American plate. And we also have continent continent collision. We've said that two continental plates they move to, towards each other, collide, one is subducted beneath the other. And we have given example to be the Himalayas, where you have the Indian plate colliding with the Eurasian plate to give you that uh, full mountain range. The assignment for the next lesson would be you will name the type of plane margin represented in the following uh, regions. You name the type of plane margin represented in the following regions. You have Andes, you have Himalayas. Then the number two, outline any two features of these uh, boundaries mentioned in one above. You outline any two features of these boundaries mentioned in one above. Above, that's question one. Above. For further reading, you can consult the text that we have on your screen. So you read that. That is what was used to. That is what was used to build your lesson. You can consult that, and you also do your. It will help you to do your assignment. We have come to the end of our lesson our next lesson will still be on this topic what on this lesson what we've seen today brief outline of the types of earth uh, plate margin their characteristic features and processes and in that case we'll be discussing the type of plate margins like divergent and transform see you in the next lesson Unna tege si, ma tege yob Unna tege minga, ma tege nyum 
Una tege majang makegendom Mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen Ngani bana matege mot Ngani lakiri watege ndong Esa kina bia jinkido Mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen Tam tama mote tam zabike Tam tama tonge tam zabike Tam tam tama mote tam zabike Mane tambia ninya